You know what bike has been getting my attention lately? The P51. Now, when I first came across this, I just thought it was another Super 73 kind of copycat bike. But the more I've looked at it and compared it against the Suron, the Super 73, of course, it does have a unique spot, but I'm not completely sold on it, even though it has lots of strengths. In fact, the company was founded by e-bike enthusiasts, much like you or I. As far as my understanding, they were actually big fans of the Suron, and they wanted to make essentially a street legal version of that. So to give you guys a better um, take here, let's go to my desk. All right, so let's begin by looking at some of the review videos on YouTube, which by the way, there's like two, and I'm pretty sure they're both sponsored because they don't say one negative thing about the bike or the company. But okay, in the video, the bike looks pretty good from a distance, more on that later. Uh, we're using a hub motor, 750 watts, so nothing special at all. The battery's kind of small, but the suspension is a bright point. It looks to have great suspension both in the front and great rear shock geometry. And aside from that, it's a pretty minimalist bike design, which a lot of you guys might actually be a big fan of. Uh, I guess the last major point here is that it does have the regular 20x4 fat tires. But okay, let's come to their official website and gain a bit more uh, detailed information on this product. So right up top, they're doing a lot of jumping off-roading here, and they're really highlighting the great suspension of this bike. They currently sell two models. I think the only difference is, yeah, the color, the stealth gray versus jet black. So let's click into this, and we're gonna see the price is nearly 4,000 bucks. In fact, there's two different battery capacities, 13 amp and 15 amp, and this is 100 additional dollars. And this is going to be my first complaint. These are very small capacity batteries, especially when you consider that the voltage is 48 volts. If you take a look on Amazon, essentially every cheap Chinese bike has very similar specifications. But okay, let's come over to the product images and take some detailed inspections. So clearly they took lots of inspiration from the Super 73, and that's not a bad thing. The Super 73 is one of the best looking bikes on the market, and the build quality on it is actually very high quality. And unfortunately, I can't really say the same about this bike. To me, it looks like a prototype, very rough edges. And just to highlight this, I wanna draw your attention to this seat. It's much wider than the actual frame, it's kind of bolted on, and just the, the integration, the fit and finish, isn't very high quality to me. And normally, I would let this slide because it's a brand new company, but this is expensive, nearly $4,000, and you're getting essentially what looks like a prototype. If we take a look at the rear pivot point, I'm not sure why it looks like this. In comparison to the Super 73, this looks like absolute trash. The piece of metal here is not symmetrical, has random points on it, and then it crudely is welded onto the rest of the swing arm. And if you take a look at the rear dropout from this point of view, we can see this massive hole right here, which is going to be immediately filled up with mud and water. And speaking of mud and water, there's zero fenders on this bike, which is an off-road oriented bike. So the moment you take this on a trail, your face and back is going to get covered in mud. I understand that I sound pretty negative about this bike right now, and I think the reason for that is because it does have a lot of potential from a brand new company, and I hope that in the near future, they can improve this and continue to sell more and better products. Because remember, the point of this specific model is to be a street legal Suron. And they did take the best part of the Suron, which is the fantastic suspension. But in my opinion, the rest of the bike is really lackluster at this point, especially when considering the expensive price point. But that's just my initial impressions of this bike and the new company. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. If you're still watching and enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.